Hello everyone, today I'm going to explain Manovit five principles of new media. The five step process begins with the first principle called numerical representation, an analysis of the mathematics behind the functions computers process. This fundamental is the atom that makes up all the things we use computers to accomplish. Modularity is the second principle. It explains the interconnectivity between the different media types and how they can be used across the board. These two principles build onto the third, which is automation. Automation refers to the processes that computers can create or use themselves. Historically, these programs have been simple algorithms, but with advances, artificial intelligence is on the horizon. Automated intelligence, or AI, is the next step of computer programming in which the computer is aware of the function it's creating and react in real time to situations. Automation literally refers to the computers automating themselves, so user time and effort is minimized. Directly related to automation is variability. Variability is the fourth principle which relates to the multiple ways that code or information can be called on or found online. It also branches off into scalability or the fact that the same information can be presented in different detail, size or format. The main draw of variability is interconnecting new media in ways that would not have been initially thought of. Finally, transcoding is the last principle, which is the raw code behind everything we have online and the programs we run. Every bit of information that goes online is stored in this code and can be found again though it can be hard to find specific things using generic search engines. Specialized search engines have the ability to find very specific results hidden in the deep web. Overall, this writing was informative, though somewhat convoluted. It was clearly written by someone not in touch with the arts, or art as a new media. Here is a quote from the text, quoting, They also come with filters, which can automatically modify an image from creating simple variations of colors to changing the whole image as though it was painted by Van Gogh, Sura, or other brand name artists. When I read this, I was appalled. Not only was Van Gogh spelled incorrectly, there is no possible way that a manipulated image will ever be seen as the fine art created by the masters of old. To make an example, let's have a look at one fascinating movie, Matrix. Please listen carefully to the words and imagine how technology can have an amazing impact on our life in the future. It is a movie now, tomorrow it may be reality. The Matrix is a system, Neil. That system is our enemy. When you're inside, you look around, what do you see? Businessmen, teachers, lawyers, carpenters, the very minds of the people we are trying to save. But until we do, these people are still a part of that system and that makes them our enemy. You have to understand, most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. And many of them are so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system that they will fight to protect it. Were you listening to me, Neo? Or were you looking at the woman in the red dress? I was... Look again. Freeze it. This... This isn't the Matrix? No. It's another training program designed to teach you one thing. If you are not one of us, you are one of them. What are they? Sentient programs. They can move in and out of any software still hardwired to their system. That means that anyone we haven't unplugged is potentially an agent. Inside the Matrix, they are everyone and they are no one. Our parents, as for the red telephone, thought their, their communication by cable was something extraordinary. Nowadays, we have tools that help us to be always connected with the capacity to find and give a solution to almost every problem. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for your time. See you around or on Instagram.